welcome back to Pisces Pisces illustrations and this is my 600 page sketchbook so we're gonna get right into it so this first page is um it was tortured by my niece and it's just basically some hands that I drew um, more hands and feet I was trying to practice you know getting the gesture down And here, more hands, and um, I think that's like a, a, a body spray bottle. I was practicing. Here, more hands. Um, my sister and her daughter, a remote, just practicing, trying to, you know, loosen up. Um, just loosen up, basically. Here, I was practicing. Um, drawing noses. I have a book from Andrew Loomis and I'm just trying to um, get better at drawing facial features, figures, and all of this stuff. Here is more from um, the Andrew Loomis. What is this? How to Draw the Figure, I think that's the name of the book. And I was drawing heads. More toes, more fingers, and like one of my sisters. And here we have flowers. Like one of the one of my favorite things to draw are flowers. Here I was drawing Black Panther. I was supposed to do a, a larger piece for this. I just never got around to it, but Stay tuned for that in the future. And here I have more heads. <laughs> Practicing different angles of the head and yeah, different positions. Here I'm practicing drawing eyeballs. I thought this page was really, really cool. It's one of my favorite pages in this sketchbook. I drew everything in ink. I really like to draw in ink rather than pencil. I mean, sometimes, like if I'm coloring a piece or whatever, I'll draw in pencil. More, uh, more human anatomy, the ears, human ears, practicing drawing different types of ears. I like how I put some uh, earrings in that last ear over there. And this right here, I'm blurring out um, because, uh, yeah, I don't want to get a strike from YouTube. So, yeah, you can check this out on my Patreon page if you want to see exactly what I drew here. So, yeah. This content not fun for YouTube, basically. <laughs> More content is not for YouTube. And this is for a comic book. All right, back to some PG stuff. I'm drawing uh, hummingbirds, and I don't know what type of flowers those are, but you know, I thought they were pretty cool. Ah, and on the left side, more Andrew Loomis uh, practices that I was doing different head angles. So my niece, she drew this lovely uh, piece on the right hand side. And here again, more uh, head angles, different. Uh, I'm practicing drawing heads from different angles or whatever. Roses. I would like to um, kind of complete this page. It was, it feels empty. I mean, I know it's a sketchbook, and you're not gonna have completed pieces in the sketchbook, but whatever. And pine cones. I really like drawing pine cones for whatever reason. I don't know why, but everything was done in ink. Everything was done in ink on this page as well. The pine cone is done in blue ink, a uh, blue ballpoint pen ink to be exact. And here on this page, we have the Black Panther concept I was trying to create. I never did um, fully develop this idea, but I will be in the future. On this page, just the uh, hands and gloves. Here we have more hands, or a hand. You have two hands, fingers. <laughs> 
flowers, hummingbirds, all this done in ink, a uh, ballpoint pen. I'm zooming into the details right now. A bumblebee up there in the corner. More bees, a bumblebee on this side, and I think on this side, um, I'm not sure what kind of bee it is. I think it was a wasp on the right side, but on the left side is a bumblebee. Everything is done in ballpoint pen. Here I was drawing a flower and trying to add color because I'm trying to get better at coloring. That sounds so second grade ish. Here, this page um, character design concepts. And I think I was doing like Powerpuff Girl fan art. That's what it was. Here, more uh, hummingbirds and whatnot. This was actually uh, supposed to be an idea for this concept I had for um, a larger piece. Did I complete it? I'm not even sure. Or I did and I turned it into something else. But anyway, this page, um, more flowers, more roses to be more exact. And I've done everything in ink. Well, in ballpoint pen. Anytime I say ink, for the most part, it's ballpoint pen like this. This is an animal skull. Um, I forget which animal. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I think it's a cat skull, like a regular house cat. Maybe not a regular house cat. I don't know. Those fangs are kind of sharp. Here, I'm drawing more hands, practicing drawing hands from different angles, um, adding color, experimenting with the sepia. Um, Copic marker pen I had just received at the time. Um, here I was drawing Victorian style dresses in ink, aka the ballpoint pen, of course. Really trying to understand lighting and value. I just never completed this. I'll go back and rework it. Here, again, this is similar to what we saw at first uh, on the, the previous pages. So this concept actually ended up getting reworked. Like, I took out the waterfall coming from her mouth, and I actually took it with her face as well. Um, maybe in another video, video, I can show you guys exactly what the completed work looks like. Hummingbirds, hands, roses, flowers. I just like nature. Here on the right side of the page, I was uh, attempting to draw <laughs> Miss Viola Davis in to get a how to get away with murder. I was pretty much freestyling. I didn't like pre-sketch. I was sketching with a pen, and yeah, it doesn't really look like her, but you know. Here I was experimenting with like t-shirt designs, um, phrases I can put on t-shirts. I might end up using these um, if I could kind of further develop them. And on the right side I was drawing a water bottle, a tiny water bottle. Trying to, I, I never finished sketching this, but you know, trying to get the reflections and the refractions. Um, how the light was hitting the water through the bottle. That was pretty cool. Um, on the left side, I drew a mushroom. On the right, I was practicing drawing fish. Um, I wish I could have done more with this page. Here, more concept art, unicorn people, a race of people who are unicorns. Here is a concept my brother wanted me to do for a tattoo design. He wanted to, you know, get tatted on it. <laughs> so this is just me trying to, trying to practice. I really want to get good at photorealism or hyperrealism. That would be like the best thing ever if I could just achieve that, you know. Here, I'm drawing lips, and on the right side, a nice row, doing a little cross hatching with the Sapia pen. I think this was my Copic Sapia multi-liner. I have more uh, Sapia, uh, 
I have more uh, mul Sapia multi liners, but they're by Art and Fly. So, but yeah, I'm just still flipping through, and of course, more uh, sketches of my brother's um, uh, tattoo design. And there on the left, that's an idea for a Japanese print that I wanted to do. Um, one of my concepts that I like to stick to and what I call the inner universe and basically the concept is just um, drawing a, a universe within an object whether it's a person, an animal, a tree or whatever. Um, it's a concept I'm still kind of developing. I'm not saying I'm the first person to do something like this but I'm doing this in my own style. Here's more there she's kind of uh, oozing gold from her face <laughs> okay here yeah my niece got to this page I was practicing drawing sea turtles and whatnot and trying to you know get the texture down that here more in the universe stuff going on more concepts for that it's supposed to be like uh, the vessel is um, a link to another dimension too like I said, it's still in development. And here are logo designs for one of my clothing line, co uh, clothing brands, Red Skull. I was just playing around with, you know, the logo. And here on the left side, those are uh, concept sketches for my Red Skull brand as well. On the right side, you had the owls. Here I'm practicing drawing. What was that? Uh, besides the eye, I can't see the rest of it. Okay, here is another in a universe uh, concept sketch. You got the tree. He's holding the animal, the sea turtle, which some believe was the first animal on the planet, which is the sea turtle. The idea is supposed to be like this ancient. Uh, uh, this ancient being uh, coming into existence. More concept sketches. Me drawing YouTubers. Ralph Smart on the left here, sketching them in ink as they were doing the video. Like I was actually watching his video as I was a. Uh, sketches and choice TV I was uh, watching him as well while I was sketching this and I plan on doing more uh, youtubers that I subscribe to and watch here I'm doing t-shirt concepts and on the right you see an owl an owl design and I think I want to put that on a t-shirt I actually posted this um, a while back to uh, my Instagram page. You should give me a follow over there. Say hi. Follow me. And, you know, comment, like, share. Here I'm drawing hands and fingers. Really trying to understand the form of the hands. Up oh, here. Uh, here's the 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 same tattoo sketch design <laughs> I was trying to uh, do for my brother. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Doing some figure drawing, not very good at all. Gesture drawing. The other page was also gesture drawing, but I'm gesture drawing the figures. Yeah. Doing more gesture drawings more just your drawings and a tattoo design again for this that same brother of mine um, what is this old English and old English fonts then I actually did it in pencil first but then I went in with the pen and I'm drawing practicing drawing using the Andy I'm sorry the Andrew Loomis method I have the book drawing heads Practicing drawing the heads from different angles, more bumblebees, practicing with color, trying to get good at color, 
Um, this was a family reunion t-shirt uh, design concept. It's actually a couple of them. And here I was trying to learn something new and draw with John Parks. He is amazing at what he does with uh, drawing mechs. Here, um, I think I want to go back and try to do this concept again and do it better. And this is Secura marker. I'm using uh, Secura markers for this. I think I, yeah, I sketched it in pencil first. I tried to do a, hmm, my mouth, I cannot talk today. I tried to do a bigger, better version of that sketch on the other page, but it wasn't really turning out how I wanted it to. It was starting to look really weird, so I'm just going to redo this and, you know, make it a gigantic piece. I'm going to make, I'm going to turn it into a print and sell it on my Etsy shop. So watch out for that. Here I was doing um, a draw in your own style challenge. I wanted to initiate my own. So, you know, I was just coming up with this character design here. And here, unicorns and flowers and more bees and clouds and the sun, you know. Um, I wanted to turn this also into a print and I will get on that. More unicorns and clouds, it's the same concept basically. I have a sugar skull up there, poorly drawn. <laughs> Here I'm doing like ancient Egypt of uh, gods. I really like that concept, and I'm thinking about doing my own clothing brand with this as well. More unicorns and more clouds. It's basically the same concept. We sketch it over and over again, just really trying to figure it out unicorn people and the mermaid people yeah. eyeballs drawing using the Andy Loomis method well I, I have the book and I was looking at you know the eyeballs drawn inside the book so I was just practicing there notes on uh, Inktober um, me trying to draw one of my hair clamps a couple of my hair clamps and just yeah, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to but I'm going to keep practicing more t-shirt design concepts I'm going through and also logo designs on this page I really like that cape more ancient Egypt um, designs that I plan on turning into um, uh, a clothing brand I'm drawing uh, keys more keys. It goes to um, this Dodge Sprinter that we own. Owls character designs. I think um I, I, I like this this character. I want to fully develop him. You know, I was kind of practicing with what else he could be like made up of or his shape kind of form him in the put him in the shape of a, a water bottle and, you know just do something cool and interesting unicorn people and mermaid people um I, a, a comic that I pretty much want to come up with what I want to create and uh, it's coming so here I'm designing something for one of my friends um, for his uh, his mixtape cover and this is the larger piece I actually have a completed piece um, if you want to see the completed piece I can show you that in another video or you can follow him on Facebook follow his like page on Facebook I'll put the uh, information at the bottom of the screen here we have um, on one side the male, the other one, I mean one side, yeah, one side the male, the other one female. I'm flipping through this pretty fast. I can't even explain that. Alright. Tigers. <laughs> More um, print concepts that I want to create. Japanese cuisine. Get all types of sushi and rice, uh, a rice bowl. Not a rice bowl, I'm sorry, a rice ball, sort of. Uh, 
that elf i was actually looking at somebody on instagram who is a phenomenal designer and i just kind of want to copy that and i want to copy that as well i saw like an image on on google that i kind of wanted to mimic i thought it was a cool because i like to draw reptiles as well i just thought it was a cool rendition of a reptile and here we have more food japanese food donuts really cool another um i was actually looking at a photo when i did this one this is a reptile's eye i, I forget if it was a, a crocodile or an alligator but i think it was a crocodile and here we have some designs for my me vegan um, t-shirt clothing line that I will be launching sometime between 2019 and 2020. So yeah, here are some of the uh, concepts I want to put on a couple of the t-shirts. And all the colors, very, I would, well, I would say vibrant, but they're not all vibrant have some uh, some earth colors there earth tone colors there and some pastel so it's just a mix I know this is very bright <laughs> very neonish more veggie burgers I guess I was thinking about uh, elder bars right there okay so enough of my bad singing and here are more concepts for uh, the t-shirt designs here I was watching tumble markers tumble marker dual brush pens that I had recently bought at that time and here I'm doing more swatching here some character designs me experimenting with colors. Here I'm drawing Joey Badass. Here I'm drawing donuts on some cardstock. I was really trying to make the donuts pop because the cardstock is a, a, a dark color. Here um, I was drawing, just practicing uh, using the tumble markers. Here I'm drawing more, practicing using the tumble markers or brush pens. And these two concepts are from Instagram, Draw in Your Own Style. Um, I wrote the people's name down at the top that I got those uh, the ideas from. I was drawing them in my own style. Some owls I never finished, some thought bubbles. Here's some concepts of uh, people being in a city, sketches of a man and a woman going out on a date. This is an universe piece. More chrysanthemum flowers that I absolutely love to draw, and I drew them in um, gold marker. Here, in a universe concept, a man and woman made out of a uh, wood like their trees their hair is made out out of leaves and you have like who oh, please excuse that noise somebody is backing up in front of my drawing all right so we have me drawing people underwater they're, they're supposed to be mermaids with barnacles on them with flowers in their hair sea turtles flying all around them something that i want to turn into a print as well and i i'm you know I'm going to get on that soon and yep pretty much the same idea mermaids with barnacles on their face because they've actually been down there so long and, you know more of the same concept and I've done all of these in blue ballpoint pen I sketched them all in blue ballpoint pen so I'm gonna read it. Uh, oh and my niece oh my god she just scribbled red ink on this and also more. And so here we have the uniform people, heads and frames. They're you know the royalty taking pictures. Got the nice little frame and whatnot going on. Okay. Here there are more uh Beautiful uniform people concepts. 
on the next page, even more uniform people concept. And on the left side, I have um, posters that I, I've drawn on. Just practicing drawing different fish, different goldfish. More unicorn people and stuff. Nothing under there. I might draw something underneath those or you know, at least do this concept again with something else and then put something underneath the post-its. My unicorn people are purple with yellow or golden horns. Here, sketches, gesture drawings, more unicorn people on the left, and um, I have a mermaid also, or a merman on, on, on the, the left as well. Here, uh, birds on posters this time. And again, I think I might draw like maybe like some skeletons underneath, like whatever drawing I have on top of the poster next time. This, these are sketches uh, of Jid, aka Jid. If y'all know him, he's a an, an Atlanta rapper. Here I'm just flipping through more head uh, head angles. Practicing using the Loomis method. All of this is, you know, the Loomis, uh, Andrew Loomis's method. Drawing the heads, different angles, more heads. So I think I've talked um, enough in this video so far. So for the rest of the video, I'm just going to flip through and show you guys what I got in this sketchbook. So please enjoy and I will uh, come back at the end of the video. So yeah, stay tuned.
okay you guys so this wraps up today's video stay tuned for part two coming soon um i'm sure i'm dropping it next week or something like that or maybe not next week give me a couple of weeks because i have to uh finish um completing this uh sketchbook is very very big so yeah um if you made it this far in the video please uh subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell like comment and share this video and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye